I am keeping the bag. <laughs> Excuse the little bits there. I had quite a few DMs and a couple of comments under the video saying keep the bag. So I've decided to keep it. I did, however, manage to sort it out because I did think this leather was bending and it didn't sit right. But it's because I'd tied it back like the wrong way. So I've sorted it out and the clasp seems to be absolutely fine because that was going to be one of the reasons that I returned it. But I mean, I do like it. I've tried it on with a lot of outfits and I do really like it now in fact like it's what i'm wearing today i'm just about to head out to run some errands i need to go get my phone fixed again because you guys know that my phone screen cracked and then i had to get that fixed sorry for the backlight hold on i've tried to sort the backlight out as much as i can but yeah you guys know i had to fix my phone anyways they have said that they'll um reattach a new screen for me so i'm gonna go get that done today so i'm gonna head out and then i've got a couple of returns to do as well at the shopping center and then i also need to look for a baby present for one of my friends who had a baby and I'm gonna go see her next week so there's just like you know a couple of errands I need to run Mia is unwell we had a very poorly baby if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen that over the weekend she was fine on Saturday then like over Saturday night she just like sort of went really ill uh, she's a bit better today but she's having like a lot of rest and Marcus is gonna stay home with her we're just not wanting to take her out or anything so I spent all day with her yesterday so I'd, I would have taken it out with me but I really don't want to when she's this ill anyways on to the outfit I think I've just thrown like a lot of random information at you right there I've got this shirt on this is from fourth and reckless it's like a really nice oversized shirt I actually love the fact that it's quite long got splits there and what I do is just tuck one bit in into my trousers just really nice casual vibes for today because i'm just out running errands and that's all i wanted i've got my daniel wellington watch on i've got on my one of my favorite necklaces from daisy london and i've got my jacques mousse is it jack mousse i don't know how you pronounce it i'm gonna call it jacques mousse a bag <laughs> on um and then i've also got on my h&m trousers yes i feel like i do live in these trousers to be honest but i don't like the thought of wearing jeans right now and honestly trousers have just been my go-to which is why you've probably seen me buy like an absurd amount recently but i just love trousers at the minute and i'm sort of over jeans i've definitely don't like ripped jeans anymore <laughs> even though i have a couple of pairs but i threw like a lot of them out but i'm slowly moving away from jeans i love obviously the mom jean and the dad jean the boyfriend jean on an occasional wear but right now i'm just into the trousers so i think i'm just a pop on oh, i would have popped on my black sandals but the ones i got from asos but if you follow me on instagram you'll have seen that they bloody broke so that's no good i actually do need to have a pair of them that i need to return as well so i need to do that at some point so i think i'm just gonna pop on my vasias but i would have liked black sandals for this i think it would have been like a really nice casual errand look so but for now i think i'll go with vages i'm gonna head out now and take you with me to run some errands the tastiest five seconds so guys one return done i'm now on the hunt to try and find marcus a birthday scent his birthday's in september and he loves his like woody scents and stuff so i'm trying to find him one. Oh, i love these dior perfumes i remember i used to be so excited going to a disney shop not to buy anything but it's just they used to do you remember we used to have a spaceship thing they used to sit in there no do you remember it was no. me first time in the white company I've actually been here before but I really want to smell some of like, the candles and diffusers if I'm not shopping at TK Maxx did you get from Home Sense or TK Maxx? Mm -hmm. oh, if I'm not shopping at TK Maxx my sister is she picked up this salted pumpkin and caramel candle and oh my god it is huge but also we've come in how nice does the car smell right now? like literally just smells of this and i know everyone there's still some summer left but i'm so excited for autumn you have no idea the autumn feels already coming in this literally smells like the one we got last year that we were so obsessed with what was that in the pumpkin spice yeah mm. pump that's it these just smell so good it's a double wick oh it's a double wick oh it's a d oh yes it's a double wick literally smells so friggin delicious i'm gonna store it though i'm not gonna light it just yet because i have a couple of more summery scents oh to like God, burn through. You know, it's going to be such a soft. 
Wow. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Hala's just giving Meme some yogurt. Here's a yogurt baby. She seems a little bit better today. So hopefully by tomorrow she'll be herself. And we've got some Shrek on. I'm just gonna go put the shopping away. Whilst Meme's have a snack. Meme's my mum car. My mum car. Good girl. Mashallah, my put the We've gone for Shrek. I've had my fair share of cocoa melon over the weekend and I just can't anymore. Leave it, I'll do it. Alright. I think I'm gonna quickly sort the fridge out because it has stuff in there I'm sure it doesn't need to be in there. Marcus is trying a new technique to make his potatoes extra is it crispy Marcus it does. Mm -mm -mm. I'd stop cleaning the fridge because Mia wanted mama. You wanted mama? Ah mum. Mm -hmm. Are you in her lesson? Thank you. So I'm only going to have 10 minutes because she also needs to have some dinner. She's not really eating at all today. So I definitely need her to eat something before she goes to sleep. But part of me just doesn't even want to disturb her. She definitely needs to be awake for a little bit longer before snoozing off. So I'm just going to give her like a 10 minute nap and give her some food and let her play, tear herself out and then get her to bed because she just pricks my heart. Can't cope with the poly baby. Mia's awake, so I'm just giving her some cauliflower cheese and broccoli and then some chicken and see how she gets on with this. So Marcus has made us a giant Sunday dinner on a Monday portion. We've got our roast potatoes, we've got our sage and onion chicken, cauliflower cheese with broccoli, homemade Yorkshire pudding, so some gravy. So we're gonna dig into this. My sister's here for dinner as well. And we'll try feeding Mia again because she didn't eat much when I was just trying to feed her first. And I think a dinner and a movie will be all for tonight. So cheese! Do cheese! No, I'm not feeling it. Hi guys, so we're in Manchester today. We has been a little bit better and I didn't want to leave her behind. So she's come with us today. I've got Gigi on hand to help. To watch me. Not being much help. <laughs> you are being help. Just as she runs off and chases the pigeons. Whilst we're taking some outfit pictures. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a manic start, so I couldn't start the vlog in the car. But I'll do bits whilst we're here in Manchester anyway. Mimi, say hi! Just picked up Mia a vegan sausage roll from Greg's. I'm gonna give her this whilst we go and grab some lunch now. Um, otherwise, she'll just want the food that we're having, but I know she won't like it because obviously we're just gonna get our Thai food again. She's generally quite good at eating everything, but I think she'll be better off with this because she's been a bit picky since she's, she's been ill. Um, so Mark's just pushing it and I'm just feeding it as and when. I bought me one of those poppy things to keep her entertained whilst we eat. Hopefully it'll work. Look at him organising for his Instagram. Of course we're doing Marcus's grandma here. Such creatures of habit. We were scared thinking we might have a ticket because we forgot to update the ticket on the car again but fourth time in a row, Alhamdulillah, we've got away with it. Obviously I've put a new ticket on but it just expired whilst we were out so completely forgot. So I hope I remember the next one now because I really don't want to end up with the ticket today. We'll have to admit defeat today and try one more outfit and then that's it because there's no way we're getting any more done with memes being here. This is why we generally don't bring her. No, it's dirty, dirty. Come on, let's keep going. Hold my hand. Yeah, this is exactly why we don't bring her because we stop every two seconds. No, no, it's dirty. Come on. <laughs> and we literally get no work done. So yeah, I'm not gonna push push it too much today. We're gonna have to come back another day. Come on, let's go. Oh my goodness, Mia. No, it's dirty. Come on. It's glass. Come on. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to have to pick her up. When it's just me and you to be able yeah. to jump in and out of the car and get it done. So much easier right now. Marcus's grandma's just walking around with Mia. Even um, food is annoying. And yeah, we've just... What's annoying? Even like having food is annoying. 
yeah oh my god she was all over the shop and um, i think part of it is that because she's not well that obviously plays a big part in it as well but today she's just too hard to handle so it's definitely a lot easier getting like outfit shots and stuff when Mia's not with us but we thought we'd make it work i mean i'm so glad we brought her with us just because i'd rather have her with me when she's not 100 percent so yeah we are just gonna walk back to where marcus's grandma is i don't know I've, like i said i don't think i'm pushing my luck with any more outfits to be honest see what marcus thinks and what we should do but i think we might have to just sort of call it quits in manchester now because it's been a nightmare um i want to go and see like how many issues she's caused for her gg right now honestly it's like she don't get tired either she's just go 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 does not stop um and then also my phone i think i told you guys i went to get my phone repaired and just the screen again and it's just so frustrating because today when i've taken my pictures i can't really see what i've shot because it goes dark as soon as i click on my pictures it's the strangest thing so i'm gonna have to go back to the people that fixed it said if you can't fix it i'd rather just have my money back i like put on the broken screen i don't really don't care at this point and i don't know i'm gonna see what i need to do i uh, don't fancy getting a new contract out like i said i'd rather just pay a little bit extra and get my screen like a proper screen fix but we'll see oh look at she's running to us she's running to us She looks like Boo from Monsters Inc. today. Skins. Oh, Bismillah. Kariya. Ucha. Aja. Happy cute. Come on. There you go. Let's get you through these drawers. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Come on. Are you going to Papa? Good, Papa. Hi. Come on, gorgeous girl. As you can see i didn't get to touch my lunch because mia was running around everywhere so i thought i'd let marcus and his grandma eat and then i'm just gonna have some food now whilst we're on our way home because i'm very hungry boba tea boba boba bubble tea whatever we call it white peach thought i'd give it a go i always get the same oh my god stop mixing i'll report back on it but this is like the new coffee for us oh it looks quite nice isn't it marcus hello guys we are home oh sorry Alaska <laughs> I just like almost sat on it we are home now if I look like I'm in the same clothes as yesterday I am now because I wanted to shoot this outfit honestly today was a complete write-off I got like two pictures and even that they weren't brilliant but it is what it is hi baby I love it so much we're home I'm gonna feed Mia now get her some dinner my mum gave some jarvel yesterday she gave some rice so I'm going to feed memes that. I need to feed my plants. I want to go around and I want to quickly pick up the bits in the house. Marcus cleaned the house so nicely yesterday. And then literally I think I came home and I ruined it. Which isn't normally the case but somehow I managed to. Don't even know what I was doing. So I want to quickly get that done because tonight I have to do quite a bit of planning. Because I've got a full day of filming tomorrow. Which means I'll have to even edit this vlog tonight. So it's about 7pm now. And I could do with... I could do with, like I said... I really didn't want to ruin my night routine however today's gonna be a little bit disrupting I think I'll end up going to bed quite late unless I can go to bed on time and wake up super early tomorrow which I would prefer to be honest but it just means I've got quite a bit to do right now so let me catch up with you in a sec once I'm a little bit more settled and just sort of see what I end up doing now before I crack on with the things I need to do in the house I don't know if you guys remember but I mentioned in the last vlog that I had ordered another bag and it's here and I'm gonna show you it but it's not really a bag I ordered off Vestia Collective again and I mean I've been researching this type of like bag that I, bag that I wanted for a while and I obviously didn't research enough or I didn't pay attention to like dimensions and stuff I personally think it's cute Marcus thinks I'm an idiot and I've wasted my money I mean I can agree with both I still think it's cute but I do also think it should have been like a little bit bigger and I'm, I am a little bit stupid but anyways I'm going to show you guys what I ended up picking up obviously it's another vintage bag and 
I don't know. I just I just thought the the idea of it and the style of it was cute, and I wasn't planning on keeping this. I wasn't planning on keeping the Jacques Mousse bag anyway. But then because I saw this one, Mark's like keep the other one. He was like, this isn't a bag. So suspense is over. I'm gonna show you what mistake I made again. Because I got another bag that I don't really want. I do want it. I think it's cute, but Marcus has really put me off it. So let me show you. I've actually not even worn it out yet, but I ordered a Chanel. <laughs> I ordered a Chanel wallet on chain, but I like the small bags. I love the small bag look. So ideally, it was what I wanted. But the thing with Vestier, you can't really return on there. You can resell if you wanted to, or you can return if it's like a professional seller i'm pretty sure this is a professional seller but the app's not you know updating so i can't really let, let me open it i'm like showing you guys so i can't really basically check until the app's updated sorry i'm waffling so here is the box um here is the little wallet i mean i think personally it is very ignore my ugly nails it is very pretty i can see barely chanel <laughs> the tiny chanel logo non to man but yeah that is the tiniest chanel logo anyone's ever seen it's just in such good condition the size of it's got also got like a little zip at the back as well a little pocket so it obviously is just big enough for like your wallets and stuff i mean on the girl it looked big i should have paid more attention to the dimensions but yeah that's it i'm gonna i'm gonna try it on but i'm gonna shorten the chain because i don't not like how long the chain is but this is the i mean i personally think it's cute but because of how much marcus was not a fan of it sort of put me off a little bit i don't know if i should resell it i personally would wouldn't mind keeping it that was it and i was just planning on keeping the vestiaire um i was just planning on keeping this and not the other bag but marcus said to keep that one as well so i've been a little bit naughty and treating myself to two bags i mean i personally am like chuffed with it i do like it but you know husband's opinions kind of got to me a little bit <laughs> so yeah let me know what you guys think i am now going to stop chattering and nattering on and crack on with like the bits that i have to do in the house because oh, i've got so much to get through honestly yesterday i felt like was a meh day like where i didn't really get anything achieved and then today just feels like the exact same so really and truly some good needs to come out of this evening in terms of like work wise and then I, I won't be as harsh on myself but other than that i will literally be beating myself up for <laughs> feeling like i've had two failed work days because i really don't like that at all so, anyways, let me crack on. Let my head cover the mess for the moment just to update you guys i have caught up with the whole of Grey's anatomy 16 seasons when did i start it i did mention it on instagram when i started it i'll have to have a look i'm gonna say it was only a couple of months ago i started it 16 seasons done and i'm just on my on the edge of the seat for the next one my sister said that the next season's not out yet so i think that's right I thought there was more seasons out already so I'm really sad because <laughs> now when I get ready in the morning I feel like I have nothing to watch like I watch a lot of YouTube but I just feel like yeah I've got nothing to watch in terms of series wise no, actually I've got Lucifer I'm watching that at the minute as well but I kind of also feel sad that that's only got a couple of episodes and then that'll finish too <laughs> I like to savor my TV shows I don't know what i'll go into next if you guys have any suggestions of what i should watch in terms of a series i think marcus mentioned the good doctor but that might be one that we watch together 
but I have got actually a season of Good Girls to catch up on. I've not finished all of Killing Eve, the new season. I keep putting the new season on to refresh and I'm getting bored of it, which is really strange because I bloody love that show. So maybe I'm just not concentrating. What else? Atypical. I'm watching the new season of that as well. But like I said, a couple of episodes, I'll have that done. And that's all I can think of. So if there's any other shows that sound similar to what I've just mentioned there, if you think that I'll enjoy, please let me know. Other than that, if you have any recommendations, I'd really appreciate it. Hi guys, so I still have boxes to go through and everything but that won't get done today. There's some a few bits left but like I said I've got such a busy day on tomorrow that I'm not going to tire myself out a lot today um, because I'll need all my energy for tomorrow. Um, if anyone's wondering these glasses are from Glasses Direct, I've literally all my glasses are from Glasses Direct. But yes, just to touch base with you, sorry I think this might be a bit of a shorter vlog but I missed last week's vlog I think like on a Wednesday so I didn't want, me, did I, I can't get my words out. didn't want to miss another one but hopefully I'll catch you up with a better vlog for Sunday. I'm gonna leave it there. Mia's had a really long nap on our drive home so I don't, she sounds tired to me now. I don't know you might be able to hear her so I don't know if I'll manage to get her down but I'm hoping to do so and there's not really much else to catch you up on so I'm just gonna have to leave it here because I don't want to bore you with like pointless footage. <laughs> But anyways, I hope you're all having a good week and I'll catch up with you for the next one. Bye!